Okay, well, I'm planning for 2023. We're wrapping up 2022. And I'm just, my brain is racing on where I am in my business and my life, what I'm doing, where I'm going, and what I've been learning and what I've been missing all these years. And so today I'm gonna talk about one of the things that I've been spending a lot of time on the last few days, last couple of weeks, and that is Think and Grow Rich. The book by Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. This has been a book. And on my road trip to Texas, I listened to the entire audio book, I think four and a half times. And I'm like, wow, think and grow rich. What does that mean? And what does it mean today? This was 85 years ago that he first published, that Napoleon Hill first published Think and Grow Rich. In 1937, this was in the middle of the Great Depression. The world was in chaos. The economy was in collapse. People were starving. People were freaking out. It was just like incredible times. And in the middle of all that, Napoleon Hill came out with his book, Think and Grow Rich, in a time of great economic distress and poverty, when poverty was widespread, despair was insanely widespread. It was just a, it was a, it was a dark time. And he came into that. So here's my first question. Have you read... Think and Grow Rich. If you have read it, read the entire book, Think and Grow Rich, just type in the chat or in the comments, type, I've read it or read it. Okay, love it. Yes, good morning, Karen. I oh, love you, sir. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. Um, so good morning. Thanks for the thumbs up as you come on. So first, if you'll type in the comments where you're from, I always love that just so I can get to know you, get to know uh, the people that watch this, where you're coming from. But also, have you read Think and Grow Rich? If you've read it, just type in the comments. I've read it. If you want to type in your comments about this, then that's awesome. Ken, I read it a year ago. Awesome. So here's what I'm thinking about. And I want to just, I want, I want to challenge you as you go into 2023 that we are in a time of scarcity, meaning we're in a time of economic chaos, especially in the real estate market. Housing market is in chaos. Agents are panicking, they're freaking out. There's all this fear. There's this, you know, it's like, I gotta survive, I gotta survive, I gotta survive. And, and the problem with all that, and, um, and when I first started thinking about this and noticing this, I've been talking about this for, over, for years, about get ready, the turn is coming because the housing market has been in this growing upsurge, upswing and for, for, for over 10 years now. Started in 2012 when we hit the bottom of the last housing market downturn. It bottomed in 2012 and it has been on a constant rise for now over a decade. Well, we've never had a housing bubble this big, this long or this dramatic. And what history tells us about economic cycles is what goes up must come down. It just happens. And it's going to happen here. And it is happening now. So it has turned. And so when we've gone from this time of prosperity and of positivity and everything's like, yes, what can go wrong? It's going to last forever. That's kind of the feeling of euphoria that you get. And then all of a sudden, it's over. And you're like, what just happened? This is not like COVID. In COVID in 2000 and 2020, COVID, sh the, the government shut things down for a period of about three months. Okay, they shut that. They shut the economy down. I mean, literally, the government shut the economy down for about three months, and so the housing market came to a screeching halt because of government mandates. Okay, now I used to call this. I just want to be clear on this, and I want you to be clear on this because how you think, how you think, is going to determine what you create. What you think is what's going to grow. So think and grow something. Think and grow rich is based on how you think, but think and grow broke or think and grow poor is also a very reality because part of the training here and in the training of books and the works like Earl Nightingale and The Strangest Secret is your mind is a fertile field and it will grow whatever seeds you sow into it. So if you sow, net, if you sow crap seeds, you're going to get a crop of crap. If you sow gold seeds, you're going to get a crop of gold. Okay, so you're going to get whatever, you're going to reap what you sow. So that any, and your, your thoughts, your thoughts and your words are the seed, not the economy. The economy is not the seed. The housing market is not the seed. And to be honest, your work ethic is not the seed. 
Your work ethic is the nurturing, but the seed is what you're thinking. It is your thoughts, all right? So going back to this idea of what shut us down in 2020 was not COVID. I would call it the COVID lockdowns. It was not a COVID lockdown. It was a government lockdown, okay? It was the government that shut everything down. At the, at the federal, state, local levels, the government is what shut the economy down, not COVID. COVID did not shut the economy down. And when I, as I'm reading Think and Grow Rich, I'm listening to it. He talks about fear and he talks about how fear can cause disease, how fear can literally cause pandemics. And literally, he talks about a, uh, one of the situations that happened with a flu epidemic back in the, uh, whatever it was, 100 years ago or whatever it was, that they literally had to, they, the, the um, leadership in the community reached out to the newspapers and said, we need you to stop print, printing all the news that is creating all this fear about the, that, this epidemic. And the, the newspapers cooperated with that and they stopped the fear. They stopped promoting the fear and causing people to panic and fear. And what they, and, and this is history, is that when the government, when the, when the media stopped sowing fear into the people, the pandemic, the epidemic went away. It stopped. It stopped within a matter of weeks. It just like ended. Now I'm not saying that I'm not, and I'm not saying what, that that was the same as this in every respect. But what I'm saying is, is that our, our thoughts are what create reality more than anything else. And the government lockdowns and the shutdowns create, were created by thinking. Okay. So all this is just to say, I want you to understand that what you think is more important than anything else in determining what's going to happen in your future. So now we're coming into this downturn of the housing market. This is not going to be a short-term thing. This is a long-term thing. Why? History. There are, these are cycles. This is fact. This is not theory. This is what happens. Okay? So when a housing market turns, it tends to turn for years. And this has been the longest housing market bubble or appreciation cycle, up cycle, in the history of the US, okay? So probably in the history of the world. So the long, longer and steeper and higher this bubble has gone, the bigger, deeper, and longer this, the downturn, the correction is going to be. So this is just the way it goes. So now in that, we are, that puts us in a time of scarcity. It puts agents in a time of like, I've got to survive because real estate transactions have dropped dramatically in the last six months and they're going to continue to be that way. Okay, people are going to be sure. Now, there's going to be more transactions, okay? And there's going to be more transactions coming. But the way you're going to find them is going to be different. But here's the most important thing. Before you even get to how you're going to find them and where you're going to find them is what you're going to be looking for. Because you're going to get and you're going to find what you are looking for, okay? What is it you are looking for in 2023? What you're looking for is what you're going to get. So if you're looking to survive, you're going to survive. Problem with survival is, guys, when people survive on the other side of survival, what do they have? Nothing. They hide. And at the end, survival, they come out with nothing but their life. They're like, you, sir, I, I did this in 2000. I did this through the last economic downturn, 2008 to 2010. I survived. I went into survival mode, which means I just got to make, I just got to make it through. I can just survive this, right? So I went from abundance to scarcity to just getting enough to get by. And I went, and that's what I did. And at the end of that, at the end of that time, I'm in deep in debt, I'm broke, I'm like just scrapping and fighting to figure out how to pay bills and I'm not paying all the bills. So debt is accumulating, but because of the times I was able to skate by on it and a little bit of trickery and a little bit of hiding out and a little bit of not making, making payments and getting you know hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt and tax, um, child support arrearages, um, unpaid child support, unpaid taxes, all that kind of stuff just piled, 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 piled up until finally I'm like, what am, what am I doing? In 2011, in, in October of 2011, I just literally had this like wake up moment that goes, what am I doing? I've been thinking survival for three years, maybe four years. I've been thinking survival. That's all. I've been focused on surviving. So guess what I was doing? I was doing a great job of surviving. Your thoughts are going to create your reality. That's your thoughts are going to create your reality. Now, with your thoughts comes then action. 
So definite plans. So I'm just gonna, this is like this right here is where I'm just burying myself. I've been burying myself in this. And this is at the very beginning of the book. Okay, at the very beginning of this book, he says, truly, this is how he starts the introduction called mind power. Mind power, the power of your mind to create in 2023 abundance. Now, just your mind, like just sitting there going like, okay, um, I'm gonna focus on making a lot of money. Um, I'm gonna focus on a million dollars. It's not gonna get you a million dollars. Okay, so it's not just sitting and thinking. So it, there is, it does not say sit and think and grow rich. Okay, but it, thinking is, your, the starting point is your thoughts. Here it is, let me just read this to you. Man, the man, okay, so here it is. Truly, this is the very first sentence in, of the actual introduction to Think and Grow Rich. Truly, thoughts are things, and powerful things at that, when they are mixed with definiteness of purpose, persistence, and a burning desire for their translation into riches or other material objects. Now, there's a whole lot to unpack here. I don't have time to unpack it this morning. I literally, there's a seminar. This, this whole book is about that one statement. Think and grow rich, okay? Now, with that, the one thing he does not include there that he adds in later on, there's more than one thing, but one of the big things is that you then must have clear, definite plans. So you have to have a definite major purpose with defined, clear plans of how to achieve that definite major purpose. But your thoughts are the seed. And with those thoughts then must become the emotion, which is a burning desire. So what does think and grow rich mean for us in 2023? So here's, here's what it means. It means that you have the opportunity to create whatever you want in 2023. You want abundance. You want to make more money than you've ever made in your life. You have the opportunity to do it right now in 2023. And it does not matter how bad the real estate market is or how bad it gets. You can create abundance. But to do that, you've gotta be thinking the right thoughts You've got to have a definite major purpose, what I call a focused fire. And you have to have a burning desire for that definite major purpose. And with that, you have to have the clear plans and the persistence to bring it into reality. And that is the magic, that, that is the magic potion. What I do with real estate agents, what I do when I'm in training, right? I've got uh, my event coming up, Agent Mastery Live. We start with our pre-training on Monday. So go to agentmasterylive.com, get your ticket. Agentmasterylive.com, get your ticket. Or you can go to yesmasters.com and the link is there as well. Get your ticket. You're going to get a coach with me for all of January. And then three days, January 24th through the 26th, you're going to get a spin with me in giving you and laying out for you the definite, de 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 clear plan for how to create a high six-figure and seven-figure real estate business in the next 12 uh, to 24 to 36 months. Now, seven figures, depending on where you start now, is probably 24 to 36 months out for most of you, okay? If you do this, but this right here is just unpacking this. I'm gonna unpack a lot of this at Agent Mastery Live in ways that you've never thought about before. Because this is now I'm taking what has I've seen happen, what has happened in my life and the fruit that has come into my life because of the seed that I have sown. And the seed that has been sown by many of my coaching members that have created, that have become millionaires and multimillionaires because of what they have done. But here's the thing, guys. The truth and the power of that truth does not change. And you, so here are just thoughts. Here are things uh, this, these are just truths that um, most of us have not really been taught to understand. Because we weren't, if you were like me, I wasn't raised this way. I was not raised with that think and grow rich. I was raised, here's, instead of think and grow rich, here's what I was raised. Go to school, get good grades, get a good education, get a good job, and start a family. That was it. That was, instead of think and grow rich, it was like go to school and get good grades. And that was kind of, that was, the path to success is this. Think and grow rich. No, the path of the success is go to school and get good grades, get a good education. That was the path I was taught. This is the path Napoleon Hill was teaching. Think and grow rich. 
think and grow rich, think and grow rich. And then I was, I was thinking about other ways that that has shown up and been taught. And I just, I was in my journaling this morning, I just wrote down, according to your faith, will it be done to you? Which I typed in the comments, of, give me your version. What comes up for you as I'm saying this, what comes up for you that makes you go like, this is how I like to think about it. This is how I feel about it, okay? So think and grow rich. If that resonates with you, just type in the comments, think and grow rich. I like this one. According to your faith, will it be done to you? What, what, whatever you believe, that's what's gonna happen. Here's another one. You become what you think about. You become what you think about. That is from Earl Nightingale in The Strangest Secret. You become what you think about. Okay, here's another one. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. That comes from the Old Testament of the Bible. From Proverbs, Proverbs 23, 7. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Mm. Okay, and there was a book written by James Allen that was came off, that was based on that called As a Man Thinketh. It's just a little bitty tiny book, but it's just loaded up with, with great stuff. I've read it, I've read it so many times. I just kind of, every time I read it, I highlight it with different colors and everything. I've had this book since 2002. I've had this book for 20 years. As a man thinketh. As you think inside of you, as you think in your heart, that's what you're like. That's what you are. Okay, here's another one. Um, it all comes down to what I think and believe. What I think and what I believe. What I think and what I believe. So then here's another way that I think it was, I think it was Napoleon Hill that said it. What the mind of man can conceive and believe, he can achieve. What the mind of man, man not is gender neutral. I don't, don't get into it. Don't worry about all that crap. Pop culture is telling us like, uh, just get over it. What the mind of man can, uh, can conceive and believe. Conceive means you think it. Believe means you expect it to happen. What the mind of man can conceive and believe, he can achieve. Okay. If you can dream it, you can do it. If you can dream it, you can do it. If you can dream it, you can do it. Dreams, what is that? That's your thoughts. That is your visualization, your power, the power of auto, what Napoleon Hill calls the power of auto-suggestion. I've got to be able to, I, I think it, it's, I have an idea, and then it turns into a desire. <coughs> In other words, a dream, I want it, and then I've got to feed it. I've got to fuel the fire. I've got to feed the fire of desire to turn it into a burning desire and to turn that burning desire into what he calls a white hot fire of obsession. This is how it happens. And this is where this guy, if, for, if those of you who've, who've not really read this, and I've had a lot of people say, oh, I read it, and, they, and I ask them questions about it, and it's obvious. Okay, you may have kind of like read it in your sleep or something, or you read it 20 years ago, and you think because you read it, oh, you know it? You're so full of crap. Get over yourself. If you haven't, if you haven't read this like four times in the last year, you don't have a clue what it says, Okay. You don't, I'm telling you right now, you do not know what it says. So if you've got a copy of the book and it is not marked up like crazy, and this is actually a, a new copy for me, but here's the thing. I also, I've read a lot of Napoleon Hill's works. Until this year, I'd never, I'd only like, I'm not sure I'd even finished the whole freaking book. I'm like, I, I almost like avoided it subconsciously. I couldn't, like, for some reason, I would have, I read The Law of Success in 16 Lessons, which is way longer than this. By Napoleon Hill, I've read his book, Master Key to Riches, How to Raise Your Own Salary, um, Outwitting the Devil, all these other books. But this one, it was like, I just was kind of resistant. And I'm like, I would, you know, like, oh, I think Think and Grow Rich, one of the greatest books of all time. And I'm like, and inside, I'm like, wait a second, have I even read it? And I'd actually deceive myself into thinking I knew it better than I knew it. Okay, this is my truth. This is the truth. So some of you are sitting there with the same BS going on in your head of like, oh yeah, Th Think and Grow Rich is a great book. Yeah, and he tells us in the book, this in the preface, that one of the guys that was one of the case studies that Napoleon Hill, that he said when this book came out, because remember this was a, a published in during the Great Depression to help people in times of poverty, something a lot of people do not know. In fact, the original edition of this was published in 1937. Almost every copy that you see today, most of those are the 1960 revision of what he wrote. And in 1960, 
everything was good. The economy was good. There was no, so they took out a lot of the stuff about bad economic times, how to, how to win in bad economic times. So now we're back in bad economic times. So I'm going back and went back to get the 1937 edition, which talks about a lot of things that they revised and removed in 1960. Now there's been a ton of revisions of this. So this one is like the original version restored and revised. It's like, if it's re revised, it's not the original in, in any way, but it's, it's just kind of funny. So I've actually ordered a copy of the, of the original 1937 edition. It was one actually printed in 1945, but it's the actual 1937 edition. So anyway, you got to go, you got to read this and study it. He, and he said in the book, so the, one of the case studies, the guy said, this book is not to be read. This book is to be studied over and over and over and over again. And when he talks about it, one of the most powerful parts of it is the mastermind principle. He said in the mastermind principle, these are things you need to be studying and talking about over and over and over again. So that's, that is part of my plan for 2023. Right? When I, and I'm just, like I just, I was journaling this this morning that um, with my round table of thrones, my top level mastermind, I'm gonna be, we're, this is gonna be the book we're using. That's crazy. I was like, you're, why not get a new book? Why not get something up to this? Because this is the book of books when it comes to success. Okay. There is no book. When you look at the number one, the top selling uh, success books, personal developed books, business books of all time, not only has the, is this the number one bestseller of all time uh, in, in terms of personal development, self-help side, obviously I'm not including the Bible in that, but in terms of books just written by a, a regular person, um, this is the best-selling book. And it is continues to be one of the best-selling books every month. Every month. Why? Because it's the it's the 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 the, uh, the contents in it, the work in it is still relevant today as it was back then. Now some things are outdated and the you know the, the stories and all that are about people that were well known back then aren't that well known today. So you'll see annotated and revised and expanded editions that add a bunch of uh, add a bunch of stuff to it and um, all that. I'm not opposed to it, but some of it's crap. Um, you just have to be aware of that. But Napoleon Hill, he this was not created because Napoleon, Napoleon Hill goes like, hey, I'm going to write a book. Napoleon Hill spent over 20 years because this is what Andrew Carnegie told him it was going to take. It's going to take 20 years for you to figure all this stuff out. 20 years. Now, who do you think you are? You've read it one time and you think you got it figured out. You are so full of shit. Get over yourself. Okay. This guy spent 20 years doing the work to create this, to create the philosophy of achievement. And in the 20 years, he did not just go out and read a bunch of books. He went and interviewed and studied over 500 of the most successful business people in the world, including guys like Andrew Carnegie, who was his primary and first mentor, Henry Ford, Thomas Edison. Okay, these, I mean, th these were the guys that were the most successful, wealthiest men in the world. And he studied, there's the list of the people in here. I mean, presidents of the United States. And I don't know if that's a, a good thing or not, but um, but presidents have to do something to get there. Um, Henry Ford, William Wrigley, who was Wrigley Gums. Um, a lot of these I, like, names I don't recognize. Theodore Roosevelt, George Eastman, who created Eastman Kodak, which was the dominant player in, in the... Uh, camera industry forever. Wilbur Wright, um, first airplane. Um, Charles M. Schwab. That's uh, just, the list goes on. I just, a lot of these names. John D. Rockefeller, Thomas Edison, um, F.W. Woolworth. He, he was the Sam Walton of his day. Okay, Woolworth was. Um, anyway, there's a whole bunch more here that a lot of them. Alexander Graham Bale and over 500 individuals. In the back, he's got this appendix of just countless people, you got to grow more. And how you think is the secret. It is the key. And this is what I'm studying, what I've been studying for years, but I'm just, it's a, written, it's a renewed passion as I'm just spent this time studying, think and grow rich and going like, wow, there's more to this than I thought. So I'm gonna be training on this at Agent Mastery Live. I'm not gonna be, this is not the text of the training, but a lot of what I've been discovering all this is going to come out at Agent Mastery Live in the pre-training. Of course, the main part of Agent Mastery Live is the Real Estate Vortex, which is the 
the path, the path to a high six figure and seven figure profitable business for real estate agents in that is fast and lasts long. So it's called the Real Estate Vortex. It's going to be insane. Agent Mastery Live. Go to get your ticket, agentmasterylive.com or go to yesmasters.com. Prices go up uh, on Monday. So January 2nd, we start our pre-training on Monday. So you want to get your ticket. So you get on the live coaching call with me Monday. Um, that is your first step. So go to agentmasterylive.com or of yesmasters.com. The link is there as well. And click on that. Register. You get early bird pricing of only $249 um, through midnight on Monday, January 2nd. Okay, guys. So this is my last live stream on YouTube before 2022. Um, I'm excited to be back talking to you guys on a regular basis. And we will be back on Monday. January 2nd, 2023, for our next special episode of Kevin at 7. Have a great end of the year. Happy New Year to all of you guys. Go to agentmasterlive.com, register, get your ticket, and I will see you on Monday for another episode of Kevin at 7 and for the launch of our Agent Mastery Live pre-training. Have a great weekend, everybody, and Happy New Year.